Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And today we've got Mr. Danny Madison. Danny Madison on the channel. He's, how old are you Danny? I'm 28 year old. 28 year old, I know you're a ground worker, aren't you? Yeah, like yeah. rock paving and stuff yeah, like yeah. that and tarmac. Pulling your back out, yeah. Pulling your back <laughs> out, right. And you've, you've had one amateur fight, haven't yeah. you? Right, so that's good. So what made you take up boxing, Danny? Well, I've always loved the sport from a young age. I mean, watching Ricky Atom, bringing all them fans in, you know, body snatching, going to America, taking everyone to Vegas. Um, it's just something that I've always, I always wanted to do. I mean, I tried a bit when I was younger, yeah. but never stuck to it. I'd have a yeah. week in the gym and then I'd go away and play football. Yeah. I'd have another two years and another week. It just like, it was consistently like that until I was probably 25, 26, and I was going out drinking a lot, yeah. and then like nail it me on the head and I thought if I don't sort something out you know I'm probably just going to go on a downward spiral so probably could have ended up in jail or well, in public place and stuff yeah like you don't that. know you don't know um, so boxing saved you then Danny well, then basically yeah, didn't it? yeah and no yeah, yeah. and no um, my girlfriend was pregnant with my youngest child so yeah. at the time it was either you sort yourself out and dedicate yourself to something or is that why you joined Mickey's Athletic? yeah well I was training and I heard about Mick and Josh yeah. you know tough gym old school so I come well, down for daily in Terry McCann, aren't yeah. they? <laughs> so I come down for a spa one day and thought lads tried to take my head off and I thought, you know what? You know, I, I come back and I, had, I think I had black eye for about two days and Josh, I think Josh and Mick said, probably won't see him again. Two days later I was back down with China. Come on, I'm going again, you know. So yeah. Um, Whereabouts are you from, Danny? Uh, Woodland. So you're from Doncaster? Doncaster oh, you yeah. live down uh, it was that fighter from down that way from uh, oh, James. Jason's Jason Jason yeah, yeah. So so you you've come in, you're enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. And it's probably saved you from just spending time in pub or getting, getting in with wrong people. Yeah, well like that. I went through a patch of about six months where I was out every week. Yeah. Didn't know what I was doing, you know, probably with wrong crowd. Yeah. Um so yeah, I come here, trained hard, I get pushed every day. Yeah. So there's no better no better place for me than here, I don't think. Yeah, it's like your sanctuary, isn't it? Mm. And a lot of people that I speak to will come here because it's getting a fair old crowd here now, isn't it? It's busy really now. busy. I think when I come, there are about eight of us. Times up like by about six now. Yeah. Well, boxing can save lives. It saved my life because I was going down the wrong road and I had been for years and it yeah. gave me a little bit of focus. Yeah. And obviously, you meet people in the boxing circle, or as Buncey calls it, the boxing family. Yeah, yeah. You meet people and everybody's got a story. Even people who don't box, everybody's got a story. But it's, it usually gives you a bit of discipline and gets you on the right path. Yeah. You know I mean, I've, I've just, uh, the young lady has just met me a couple of years. She was going that wrong path, wasn't she? Yeah. She's come here and yeah, Mick yeah. and Josh have turned their life around, yeah. haven't they? Yeah. And I think that's brilliant. But where Mick and Josh have an advantage is, Josh works with kids that are obviously naughty and disadvantaged, yeah. doesn't he? So, and, and it, isn't it good to spend time where you're like a world ranked fighter? And oh, yeah, like yeah you learn every theory. day. Yeah, you, you pick stuff up every day. That stuff you won't, you won't learn from other gyms, you know. Yeah. I've, I've been about other gyms when I was younger, when I've come up. Obviously, I'd, like I said to her before, I've had two weeks at a time and never, never like got pulled in. You know, I like, fell in love with it. And then yeah. I come here and I just, every day I just wanted to come and train. Yeah, and, and, I, like think, it, and that's credit, I think that's a credit to Josh and Mick. I think they, they, push, they push you that much and make you want to feel like you want to box. Yeah. Whereas I go to other gym and I didn't get that like family feel, you know. Mick's got that sort of like uh, Jurgen Klopp appeal, like, you, like, you want to run through brick school, walls yeah. for him, don't you? You look at him and you just think, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get stuck in there. Yeah, because you know he, he says things, <laughs> he says the right things, but, like Dennis does, he said the right things, but at the right time. Yeah. And that's experience, you can't buy that, can you? No, what, what, what I always say to lads as well, after sparring and stuff, I always look down at Mick, and he'll either smile at you, or he won't. And then, if he smiles, you think, wasn't I've had a good day. If you don't. If you don't, you think, fuck. Oh, yeah, that's it. it. Well, it's fair, well. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we can't take it out, because we like to be authentic yeah, and sorry, just be yeah. genuine. But don't worry about swearing, it doesn't matter. The point is, you want to you train hard, don't you? And you want to please me, oh, yeah. don't you? Yeah, of course he's you do. He's got that sort of, uh, I can explain. He's like the boss, isn't he? Oh, he's, he's, he's gaffer, isn't he? We're coming, we're coming here to work, and he's the gaffer. So I've just done that interview and that. Mate will pull it to one side, he'll only tell you once, but if you try it with me, you're alright, aren't you? Yeah. All you've got to do is not tell lies and just be honest no. with him, aren't you, and be genuine. You might not be the best technically, or everyone at gym has different attributes, but as long as you work hard, he's mm. happy, happy to help you. There's no prima donnas here, is there, no. as well, with me, no. is there? 
everyone comes in here for one reason. Like, that's to train hard yeah. and eventually put gloves on and have a fight. Yeah, and that's it. So you've been coming here for how long now, Danny? Um, about a year and a half I've been now. A year and a half, yeah. and obviously you've had your first amateur fight. Yeah. How come it took that long before you got your fight? Did Mick want to see if you were No, no, no. To? I was due to box. Um, 2018 in December, December 7th, but the lad pulled out on scales. I weighed in, um, and I think half an hour before the fight, he went to the doctor and said he went very well. So then that like put me back a little bit, but then I come back training, and I was due to box again in March, and then kid pulled out again, so I had two on bounce. Yeah. So then I, well, I had about I think three, three or four months where I thought, you know, it's not going to happen, this isn't for me. I, I believe everything happened for a reason, I just thought at the time. With lads pulling out, I thought, is it the right thing for me to do this? Obviously, I'm working hard every day that I'm coming here, and I'm going on to be missing kids. And when, when yeah. kids are pulling out, I was just thinking, maybe it's, thinking not, it's not just Yeah, maybe, happen. maybe it's not for me, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Oh. But then we're here now, I've had that fight, it was a good fight. Lost on a split decision, so yeah. Well, you've lost your first amateur fight, yeah. but you might not win a world title no, right? no, 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 as a pro, no. but if you can stick it out, who knows you might be able to turn pro next year. Well, it's just an tomorrow. achievement. I mean, yeah. even having that first fight was an achievement. From what I was a couple of years ago, to like going out and just so selfish and you don't you don't realise how like self-centred you are until yeah. I look back now, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, who knows? You don't know. It's an achievement. I work hard. Mick says I've got a bit of talent as well, so we'll see. Yeah, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. Well, listen, it's been a pleasure to have you on. We yeah. don't discriminate against anybody on the channel. No. Uh, but we don't have uh, these casuals on, you know, we follow yeah, yeah. And We don't have them on the channel because yeah. they're basically, they're not real boxing people, are they like yeah. us? Yeah. <laughs> but point I'm trying to make is people are going to probably try and give us some stick for me having you on here because you're not so pro yet. Yeah, but, but I get, everybody's got a story and it's a boxing story. Yeah. And like I said, I. I I there's always like poking, there's stuff. always negative in the world, yeah, it? Course, no matter what right. you do, whether yeah. I'm an amateur pro or just walked into the gym to have a chat with your everyone, yeah, there's nothing to you listen mate, it's what it is isn't it? Well, everybody likes to interview stars and that, but I'm trying to get the point across that there's the other side of boxing and there's people that have got a story, yeah. they're not all like a kid who got like Anthony Joshua who got in trouble, went that wrong path, ended up where he's ended up. Yeah. Olympic medal, he got that gifted. Yeah, yeah. He got a world title gifted and all other yeah. stuff. And then there's the other side of the story, the kid that's got a family, you've got a job, you work hard doing that yeah, job, yeah. it's very hard isn't it? I've yeah. done that job myself in prison, it's yeah. hard work in that <laughs> digging game. But the point is, you come here and it's your sanctuary isn't it? Mm. Mick Whale and Josh Whale have given you a sanctuary and you've got a bit of a chance now to just do something else with you. Oh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just intrigued to see what happens, you know, through hard work. Yeah. I'm a big believer if you work hard, you know, stuff can happen. Yeah, I bet you're a good ground worker, aren't you? I'm all right, well, my boss might not think so, but I'm all right, yeah. Well, listen, <laughs> if I need any ground working done, yeah, you'll, you'll to give me a ring. Yeah, you'll I'll give get me. you the bricks and you can do the ground. Yeah, everything. And that's it, and I'll put you on day rate. Yeah. <laughs> 140 a day. <laughs> 140 a day, this is mate. Say he's paid 1,140, it. doesn't it? That's it, mate. But it's been a pleasure having yeah. you on. You're That's a nice it. kid. And uh, shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging Limited, UK Limited. Right. Have you got a Facebook or a Twitter, Danny? I have, yeah. What's your Twitter and Facebook? Well, my Twitter's down at the minute. I need to set up a new one. I've got Facebook, Danny Madison. But Instagram is Manolo22. Instagram what? Manolo22. Manolo22, as in yeah. Barry Manolo. Yeah, as in Danny Manolo. Oh, Danny Manolo. <laughs> I thought you said it's it was Madison, old... your name. Is what? Yeah, it is, but it's just an old young, oh, young yeah. kid thing. That's it's not just... a cool name, that is it, Manolo. No, it's just grew up with me, I think, so. Why don't you change it to Sugar Danny or something like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or the, Sugar Danny. Or Danny. Danny the real thing, Madison. Danny Money Madison. <laughs> Money Madison, <laughs> yeah. Oh, the money team. Yeah. But so that's your. So it's Danny Madison on Facebook yeah. and it's Manolo22 on, on Instagram. On Instagram. Yeah. Um, that's basically it, then, isn't it? Thank you yeah. very much. Cheers, Paul. Thank you, mate. Yeah. You too. Have, have a good, good session. Yeah. Cheers, Paul. Cheers, mate.